A week ago from today, hundreds gathered in Colleen to protest the Puerto Rican governor, Ricky Rosseo, accused of corruption. Since then, he's resigned. Fox 44's Kendall Green sat down with the key organizer of that protest in Colleen about what's next. He joins us live from the newsroom. Hey, Kendall. Hey, Adam. Although the governor agreed to resign, an organizer I spoke with today says it's just the beginning. More has to happen for her to be satisfied. All eyes in Janet Pomalis' living room are glued to the TV. She and her family are processing every detail from reports out of Puerto Rico as the government remains in turmoil. I asked her as a key organizer from last week's protest in Colleen if she was satisfied with the governor agreeing to step down. No, there's still a lot to do. There's still a lot to do because he's not the only one. Since their protest last week, she and her family have been following every detail revealed about her native government because of her loved ones back in Puerto Rico. I have been reading, I have been watching news till 2 o'clock in the morning, you know, trying to find, you know, like, like explanations for, for whatever is happening right now. Pamela says she and her group are planning to hold more demonstrations to stand in solidarity with her family back home if the government doesn't put more responsible officials in place. Somebody like that really, you know, that really cares about the, the people of Puerto Rico. Because right now, they, they, they don't care about the people in Puerto Rico. So protests like the one last week could happen all over again if they feel the new leaders don't reflect the best interest of the people. We need to, like, exterminate, you know, all this corruption in the government. And um, we won't stop. Our people won't stop. So depending on what decisions are made, we can see more protests, not just in Colleen, but all over. But for now, reporting in the newsroom, Kendall Green, Fox 44 News.